everyone this is erica with everything home by cash today i'm gonna be working on this as ceramic uh, pottery i bought this at a yard sale for one dollar and i love it because it has the handles that are very trendy right now i'm gonna be using this um speckle it's a wall speckle that i bought at dollar tree i'm gonna be using primer as well i'm gonna go ahead and mix those together so what i'm trying to do is i'm gonna create uh, a texture on the vase and there's no right or wrong way to do this just go ahead and add the colors that you love but make sure you start creating layers of colors that's the trick to this um, so far that's what I've been seeing trending um, this is not my idea I've been seeing a lot of YouTube videos I can't give credit to anyone specifically because I've been seeing it everywhere so I'm just gonna copy what I see from other people doing at the moment. Just go ahead and spread this out with a brush. It doesn't have to be an expensive brush. It could be a brush that you have laying around, even a makeup brush you can use. Just go ahead, go around, around it all the way. Again, there's no right or wrong way. I'm just um, doing it back and forth, side to side. Uh, and what I'm gonna do after that is I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry for about four hours and then I'm gonna use another technique so we can add the second layer so right now fast forwarding everything um, what I'm gonna do after the four hours again is I'm gonna go ahead and just pat it down the second layer it's not gonna be with a brush I'm just gonna go ahead and pat it down with my hands all over using some gloves gloves because remember this does have um, primer so just go ahead and pat it down all over until you don't see any other texture of the regular vase. Um, where I live, we you do we do have a lot of these vases everywhere. Um, so these are very popular where I live. So yeah, um, again, look, this is all dry. I love the texture uh, that it came out. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add this uh, wax. Um, it would be better if we were to use paint, but this is what I have at the moment. And again, I'm going to create layers of color. So the base color, uh, I came out kind of grayish. I would have liked that it came out a little bit of a cream color. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this ivory wax all over. And after that, you're going to see, I'm not going to let it dry. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab some um, dirt from my garden. Um, we just want to make sure that it's clean where pets can be around that since we are going to be using this in surfaces on our tables and um, buffets, dressers. So this is the, the clean dirt. It does have a little bit of rocks, but it's clean dirt. So as you can see, the wax is still wet and it's setting a very nice layer of color. I really like this texture. Just again, go ahead and remove every little rock or any uh, piece of debris that you see. But the dirt itself, it looks really nice. The color is coming out really, really, really nice. I really like it. Um, don't forget about the handles. And now I'm going to go ahead and add this brown antique wax. I'm going to mix it with the ivory because this is very dark. So I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it. As you can see. Um, it's coming out really nice after this brown wax I added more dirt and more ivory wax so don't end up um, just leaving the color in I don't know how would you call it just like in big pieces you would have to blend it very well make sure that it's well blend play with it that like right now can you see the the brown spots don't leave them just like that Go ahead and spread them out with your hands with a sponge and i use some makeup sponges i don't know if you were aware of that i don't know if you saw that um forgot to mention that but the, yes that's what i'm using to kind of blend the color the wax the dirt and i'm going back and forth until i'm completely happy with the results the results are amazing this face is about eight inches tall so it's not that big and i am going to use some greenery some natural eucalyptus it's already dry since i've had it like since two years but it's still in great condition i bought a lot of it so i'm going to be adding that at the end and i'm very pleased with the results and again guys i want to thank you so much for watching please subscribe comment um, leave your notifications if you have any 
any other ideas of what I could have done with this. But look at this. It's such a beauty. I'm very, very happy. Thank you so much, guys. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.